1992, I visited Finland to play in a representative match between British club professionals and Finnish club professionals at the Kirk Golf Club just north of Helsinki. It was my first time in the land of clean air, the Northern Lights and Santa Claus. Tero Peltola is connected with nature and uses the long summer days to play before work on his own and afterwards with his family. Terrell was speaking during a two-week stint at the European Tour events in Scotland and England, where eight golfers with a disability teed it up alongside the stars of the European Tour. Please enjoy the story of Terrell Tapani Peltola. Speak softly and carry a big stick is a phrase Terrell Peltola may, or may not, feel could apply to him. The quietly spoken and thoughtful Finnish golfer may be philosophical in nature but loves competitive golf and when we spoke with him he was ranked in the top 20 of the world ranking for golfers with disability. A big stick might also mean the driver with which he hits the golf ball impressive distances while standing on one complete leg, his left, and also his amputated right leg, which is supported with a prosthetic that still allows him to make a sweeping left-handed swing with confident rhythm and great timing. He plays of a four handicap. The calm nature is that of an intelligent family man, who has seemingly worked out a great work, life balance that keeps him positive long after his accident in 2001 when, at the age of 24, he got hit by a moving train, in a bizarre and near fatal collision. Today, at 45, he enjoys the health and fitness lifestyle of an outdoors man, embracing any temperature and weather Finland can throw at him. He skates, runs, skis and golfs depending on the season. Golf has a short, four-month window there. He gets up very early while others sleep to enjoy his sport, before driving to his job as a technical product manager at a large bakery company in his home city of Kuopio, just south of the centre of Finland. In summer, it is up at 4am, play golf, work, then enjoy good family time, often at the golf club, and then sleep. Then, it's simply a repeat, playing five or six times a week on a good run. I run this round three, three hours maybe, mm-hmm. and then go to home and shower and say my son that goes to school now and, 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 and uh, start doing work. Other, other families sleep, mm-hmm. like, uh, it's, it's my own time, but, but uh, when, when my work days end, the whole family goes back to golf course. My both son, six mm-hmm. years old and eight years old, they both play golf already. Teo didn't push his kids into golf, but he is delighted they want to come with him to his local golf course. This athletic lifestyle, paired with a philosophical outlook, is ideal for an appreciation of the beautiful natural surroundings there. Teo walks whenever possible on a course rather than taking a buggy. It's a really different game, because when you walk, you can listening when birds uh, yeah. singing and, and uh, look yes. like look like different things you forget all bad shots and, but I think it's Tiger who say that that we need 10 steps we need for, forget that mm. but when you play with Bucky you never take these 10 steps yeah. he laughs when he says this you hear Tero's chuckle a few times during a conversation sparingly but ready to share it it's a laugh you do feel like earning. His mind is sharp too. One example, Teo will often write down words describing how he was feeling mentally and physically just before and during a good golf shot, to try to recreate the exact conditions to repeat desired results. His seriousness for the game comes over as far from dull, more a joyful pursuit of golf and nature, and surely the antidote to what came before. The train accident happened in 2001 when he was 24. Tero believes someone in a bar spiked his drink. Okay, we are, we are in a bar with my friends. And, and uh, I take three, four beers. And then some, someone put poison in my, in my drink. And then uh, uh, people, people in, in the restaurant, they wake up me something like four times. And then I said that now I must go home, but, but I walk wrong, wrong place 
and and uh, I rolling under the train something like 100 meters, and then uh, then I came out there and and came police ambulance, and they look at okay, you win in lotto again. The lotto now because because you are alive. I said yes, I understand that. Miraculously, he was conscious after he was found. He even called his mother to tell her his leg was broken before he was sedated in the hospital. When he awoke, however, he found the leg was no longer there. It was going to be a huge adjustment. Teo would require a further three months in hospital before he could walk out on crutches and he would need sticks for around a year until he was happy with his prosthetic leg. He had taken up golf when he was about 14 and had enjoyed it off and on for a few years before stopping. Now, looking for a good sport to give him confidence outside, help him keep fit and absorb his thoughts, Teo picked up the golf clubs again. And then, uh, I think that it's 2003 I found in internet uh, uh, disabled golf. And okay, in Finland we have disabled golf competitions and I call, call in golf federation and ask that, okay, can I come to look that? And I had, no, no, you must come to play. I said, okay. This time he decided on using left-handed clubs, his natural side, rather than the right-hand clubs he had used as a boy. He has never looked back. So, was finding golf again straightforward? I, I, I found it me immediately because it's, uh, it's a pro who are in our uh, golf course, who are working there and, and uh, when, when I moved to Kuopio, I going first time driving range. He came and looked, he, he asked me if you want help, come, I help you and it's free. You don't need to pay that. I want to help you because, because I saw that, that you can play good golf. First time when, when we met, he asked, can, can you show when, how you hit driver? I hit driver a little bit over 200 meters. It looked, oh, looked so ugly. But it's work. We don't change nothing. <laughs> I said, okay, I like you. Teo has two prosthetics, one of which he uses for running. He also skates, taking part in a 50 kilometers ice marathon recently. He is thriving, relatively, and doesn't see himself as disabled. Yes, I, I, do, I do everything. Mm. I running, north country skiing, last winter 500 kilometers, mm. and then I do, I do everything. I don't feel that I'm disabled. Mm. This, this is maybe mm. Uh, mm. bad things. Mm. This is, this is uh, part of me. Teo will tell you that people make assumptions about those with a disability, on the golf course, as in life, and education is usually the answer. He tells a good story. One, one time when, when I go in, in my home golf course, uh, playing and, and I look at, okay, Here's free tea time, three players, and okay, I, I run there, and then the two guys look. Oh, disabled players come with us. This going really slow this round. I heard that, but I don't say nothing. I said, okay, you can hit ball. I need a little bit of time. I need to take my balls and mm -hmm. everything. They hit the balls. I think I hit something like. 50 meters, maybe more, longer, what they, what they hit, and I walk straight, where is my ball? I look my watch, okay, <laughs> really slow. <laughs> we, we, are, we are playing something like uh, uh, five or six hole, I'm two under, and they are something like plus ten or something, mm -hmm. and then this one guy asked, uh, how, how long time you are playing golf? I said, okay, I start 88. And then it's <laughs> then they look at it's amazing. Mm. We we talk first that this is slow, slow round, but but you need to wait us all the time. <laughs> Teo has performed strongly in many amateur tournaments in Finland in recent years and won the 2019 Finnish Disabled Golf Championship. This form launched him up the world ranking for golfers with disability and his top. 20 position by July 2021 qualified him to be one of eight players selected for two EDGA European Tour Series events, in Scotland, the Edgar Hero Open at Fairmorn St Andrews, and in England, the
the Edgar Kazoo Classic at London Golf Club, at the start of August. These eight players with different impairments played on the same courses on the same days as the European Tour players. Teo said he loved the experience and was talking to us at London Golf Club on the eve of the second tournament. Teo spoke of his nervousness before playing but also the beautiful conditions in Scotland at Fairmorn St Andrews, while he labelled London Golf Club as his favourite course he has played to date. Teo had a leg injury in Scotland and the second round was a big struggle, but by the time he was in England he was pain-free again. Ask him what golf means to him and he is very clear. Everything. This is my... I, maybe I can say it, this is my life. Because, because it's, it's um, a nice to so different golf course and, and people in golf course, it's, it's all the time like we're like big family every player. And, and, uh, example here. The London Golf Club. When we, when we go uh, in driving range, there is this uh, players in European Tour, they came and asked how, how we can play and everything. We talk to, to each other and, and it's, it's amazing. In Scotland, one, one guy come and uh, tell that, that uh, his brother is uh, now an amputee and, and uh, he said, that in the future, maybe you are my brother's idol, right. big, big, because he won't start to play again. Mm. And, and uh, he all the time thinking that how, how this is possible, can I play or mm. something else. And, and he wanted to take picture for me and, and look at how, how do I do that. And, uh, I see, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes it's, it's really important because I'm now captain in my home golf course. Yeah. And, and uh, I think that many, play, uh, many players look that that's why yeah. they're uh, when, they, when they ask uh, if I want our captain, I said, okay, t but I'm disabled. Uh, no, you are your best, how I say, mannequin this in golf because mm. you show that, that everyone can do that. Yeah. Not only, only normal people mm. or rich people, but... but Everyone can do that. Friends, family, and golf in beautiful surroundings seem to be the tonic that has helped Tao. I'm, I'm really lucky because uh, I have a, uh, really good friends. And a friend is really important when, when something happens like that. Maybe, maybe I'm a little bit stupid because <laughs> I think, that, okay, it's, it's only one leg. Surviving being hit by a train may lead to you facing life with a philosophical outlook. Certainly, no one appreciates family, friends, playing partners and the click of a golf club on ball, in a beautiful open space, more that Teo Peltola. It's the thing that gets him out of bed every day, very early.